lockdown in our province actually began in April 2020. Schools and universities had to close. There was a sense uh, of panic, of fear and confusion. I was very concerned for my child's schooling and of course other children's uh, learning and schooling. If this continued, some children will lose all these foundational skills that they had developed prior to the pandemic. I am Sri, I am a provincial manager of Innovasi, a partnership for basic education between the Australian government and the Indonesian government, managed by the Palladium International. Basic literacy and numeracy skills are the foundation of all other learning, and thus to a certain extent, the foundation of uh, one's self-confidence and a sense of self-worth and you know how they go uh, in preparing the future life. Our baseline data in 2018 tells us that only one third of our early graders understand what they read. The issue is in teachers' lack of skills in teaching basic literacy and numeracy. They're not yet well equipped to do this. There was an eye-opening and moments of reflection to all, including the teacher training universities, that we are in a learning crisis. From that realization, the university people and the NGOs and also the government began to realize that they need to change their curriculum because it's still quite removed from the reality in the classroom. Last year, when the university closed, most students went back to the village to do learning from home. And so that's how the literacy volunteers idea uh, emerged. One of the university administrators contacted us requesting support to train their students on the basics of teaching and reading. We thought that this could be an opportunity to provide immediate and individual support uh, to children during pandemic, especially for those with very little or no digital uh, learning access and who have serious learning difficulties even before pandemic. So we took the materials from Innofasi Literacy Training materials developed prior to the pandemic and adapted to suit the volunteers' needs. Teaching is like swimming, you know, I think you just have to be in the water a lot. The volunteers' program is, is just like that, you know, students get exposure and getting into the water. We have so many great volunteers. They say it prepares them for being a school teacher, improves the motivation to work and help children and make them understand the actual situation in the classroom or in the schools even better. I became a literacy volunteer myself because I was inspired by the literacy volunteers. Ozil is a child that I'm supporting. Uh, he is in grade two. He has a difficult life with both parents working in different parts of the province. And he's left with his grandmother who sometimes uh, gets sick. To be honest, I miss teaching. I started out as a primary school teacher myself. Uh, I love interacting with children because, you know, it somehow brings out the child in me. I can be silly and I can laugh like that. And the sense that a teacher gets when their students, you know, get it is, is quite a reward in itself. We close the session by talking about what he's learned and appreciate any progress. We write that appreciation in little notes that we put in a used plastic bottle that we fill in every end of the session. It's like a piggy bank, but not for money, but for good words. I'd like to think it's worth as much if not more than, you know, the, the coins, the pennies, although I don't think the children agree for now. And so the students compare and contrast uh, the curriculum that they receive from the university and the training that they receive from Innofasi. And they reported to us and also to their lecturers that they think that what they receive from Innofasi was so practical and useful and that they should be, be getting something you know, similar, something as practical at the university. This literacy volunteers program is really what triggered the actual change in the curriculum. I hope that at the end, more and more children will have the foundational skills 
and the well-being and the you know preparedness they need for a better future.